Hey, Summer from Garage Mom Fitness. I want to talk to you guys today about change. Change is something that is extremely hard for even the best of the best of us who can roll with the punches to accomplish. It's something that doesn't feel natural. There's, there's just something about change that is scary, you know, and it's fear, really, that keeps us from progressing and moving forward into the new change because we're worried about, you know, is it going to work? Will we be successful? Um, you know, are we gonna fail? What will other people think about us? What will our boss think about us, especially if you're moving into a new position? What will our friends think about us? I'll never forget how I felt when I went from being just kind of like a regular old Joe into a supervisor position at one of my companies. And I remember hearing from one of my managers that basically now you're in a fishbowl and people are going to be looking at you. People who were your friends, they're going to be looking at you every single day, just waiting to find something that you're going to slip up on, something you're going to say, you're going to sit with the wrong type of people, you know, something you're going to do. And they're just sitting there anxiously, patiently, however you want to say it. They're waiting for you to mess up so that they can say, aha, I got you. And sometimes if we've experienced that in the past, it's hard for us to forget about that and to move forward, even though this, is, this might be a different situation. You may be at a different company. You may be around different people, or it's just something that maybe it's not even work-related. But because you remember how that felt, it paralyzes you and stops you from moving forward. And it's that anxiety, it's that stress that's going to keep you right where you're at. And what we like to call that is the comfort zone. I struggle with this. Oh my gosh, I struggle with this. I'm struggling with this now because I was forced into a situation, the situation I'm in now where I wasn't necessarily ready to make coaching my full-time job, um, being honest and truthful. Now, I don't know if I should say I wasn't ready or I think it's more of along the lines of I was just scared. I was scared to take that leap. I was kind of like teetering on the edge and then I got shoved off. It's almost like when you're learning how to swim and your parents pick you up and just throw you in the pool and you know somehow you manage to get your way to the top. That's kind of how I feel and sometimes I feel like I'm drowning. Sometimes I feel like I can't, like I can see, I can see the top but I can't get there and I'm doggy paddling and I'm doggy paddling and the first thing that I want to do is retreat. And, you know, kind of feel sorry for myself and sulk down. And I can't do that because when I do that, that's when the anxiety starts setting in. That's when the stress starts setting in. That's when the worry starts setting in. And then I find myself back to the way that I used to be, um, which, you know, was always anxious, always kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. I don't want to say necessarily negative, but definitely not positive like not looking on the positive side of things thinking that hey you know this might be scary this might be hard but here are some things that can come out of it that might be good that I never even thought of so I wanted to make this video for for those of you out there that are struggling with this because I know I struggle with this the the turning point for me really was when I stopped making excuses for myself and I really had to take a serious hard look at myself and this isn't something that just happens once but it happened for me when I was feeling insecure, uncomfortable with the way that I looked. I didn't like how out of shape I was. I didn't like the fact that I, I couldn't do things with my kids and enjoy them. And I certainly did not like being anxious, you know, feeling stress the way that I was feeling it. And so I got involved in working out. Something that I never, I had done in sports and in the military, but never had done outside of being forced to. And it felt weird, it felt scary, it felt odd to put myself out there and you know, to be doing these workouts that from the outside looked like they were just extremely hard, there was no way I was gonna be able to do it. And I'm so happy, to be honest with you, that I did because that shifted my focus. And when I started to see changes, it wasn't just on the outside. I mean, granted, the outside, those changes are awesome. But it was the inside because I realized as I started doing it, things that were hard on day one, on day 10, they were still hard, but they weren't as hard. And then on day 30, you know, they weren't as hard, but they were, it's the same thing. It's like each time that you keep going, you keep realizing that first of all, 
hey, nothing bad happened, I'm still here, and matter of fact, something good came out of this because now people are noticing. They're starting to notice not just my physical transformation, but they're starting to notice how my attitude has changed, how I'm happier, um, and that comes from inside. A lot of times when we're feeling depressed or we're feeling stress, we're stressing our own selves out. And if you're like me, where you worry, I'm a worrier, so I can be worrying about something that hasn't even happened yet. Then I'm gonna start to feel anxiety. Now I'm stressed out. And it hasn't even happened and it may not even happen, but that's kind of how my mind works. So when I gave my mind something different to challenge itself with, I realized that I was capable of a lot more than I thought that I was. And I also noticed that my anxiety symptoms started to disappear because I had a positive way, a positive outlet to release some of the stress that I was feeling. If I had a bad day, I could come home, knock out my workout, those endorphins, you know, just from getting your heart rate up and sweating, it made me feel better. Even though the situation wasn't better, I felt better. And that's what's getting me through now because there are some days where, you know, it's like, I just want, I'm like, I'm getting out of bed, I don't have a job, um, you know, I'm, I'm coaching, but you wonder, am I going to be successful? Am I going to be able to help people? Is anybody even listening to this video? Should I even post it? You know, what's the point? And then I just go ahead and I post it. And I go and I get up and I get out of bed. And I go downstairs and I knock out my workout. Because when I do that, I know I feel good. And when I feel good, then I'm able to move on to the next thing that I have to tackle that maybe I don't want to do. But I kind of set myself up on that positive note, knowing that, hey, I accomplished something, I did this, even at my lowest, how I feel now, if I still continue to do these things, I'm gonna make it through. So I wanted to just kinda, to be honest with you, this video, I'm kinda rambling, but I wanted to put this out there for anybody who is looking to make a change, who's going through a change. If you're like me, where you were kinda thrown into a life situation, you don't know what to do, you're feeling stressed, you're, you, know, you don't like the way that you look, you wanna get fit, you don't have anybody to talk to, that was another thing. It's like finding people who understand, especially when you're a mom, because you see these moms out there and they look like they're super mom. Like they're the soccer mom and they're the craft mom and they're the homeroom mom and I'm not that mom. I would love to be that mom, but I'm not that mom. I love going to my kids' schools, I love watching their sporting events, but I'm not the PTA mom. And I had to realize that that's okay. I don't have to be the PTA mom. There's plenty of other people out there that are, but I don't have to compare myself to them, you know? And there's always gonna be somebody out there that's better than me, you know, looks better than me, more fit, more ripped, whatever you wanna call it, has a better job than me, but it doesn't matter because this is about me and how I feel. And so, you know, it helps to connect with other people who are moms, who understand that pressure because you don't think about that when you start to have a kid. Like you don't think about all the different ways that your life changes, not just from the physical aspect of having a baby, but just emotionally. I wasn't prepared for that. Nobody talked to me about that. I had no idea, you know, that I would start questioning myself in ways I'd never even thought about ever questioning myself. So I wanna let you know that I'm here for you. You know, fitness is an awesome way for us to take control of our life because it's something that we have control over. And it really does play a huge part in how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about taking on challenges in life. I mean, when you can sit here and commit to something like insanity and make it through, doing that presentation at work may not seem so daunting because you just had Shanti kicking your butt religiously for 60 days. So I just wanna let you know that I'm here for you. Um, you know, I would love to have you join my next challenge group. That's kind of where it all starts. That's gonna give us a point to meet. You're gonna connect with other people that are like me, that are like you. You know, we're suffering from the same things. We understand each other and it gives us a positive outlet to not just talk about the workouts that we're gonna be doing, but just talk about life. Talk about being a mom, talk about the struggles. We all go through different things, but at the end of the day, we all wanna be happy. You know, and it's better to go on a journey when you have people with you that are cheering you along. So, you know, I would appreciate if this video doesn't touch you, but you know somebody who it would touch, or you know somebody who would be interested in joining my, my challenge group starting on the 18th, pass this, pass this note along to them, or pass this video along to them, share it on their page. You know, there, there's so many of us out there that are women, it's like we're afraid to connect with other women because we don't wanna be judged but there are so many women out there that will not judge you. I will not judge you. 
I know how it feels, I know how hard it is, I know the struggle, but I also know how awesome it can be. And I love meeting new people, I love helping people. So reach out to me, I'm reaching out to you. I would love to have you join my group. Thank you so much for liking my page. And again, share this with somebody that you feel really could need um, you know, to, to get in shape and start making them positive changes in their life. Make that change.